I want to talk about this collaborations that you're seeing, what it does, and also um, the fact that you're seeing Office 365. Um, so if you click on Office 365, the very first time you click on it, and it should only ask you one time, um, it'll ask you or it will authenticate your account to you. Uh, once you've done that, then when you click on Office 365, it'll show you your OneDrive. So this is a window inside of Canvas to your OneDrive. I know those of you who use Google Drive are probably wondering, does it work the same way with that? Yes, exactly the same way. The first time you click on it, it's going to ask you to authenticate, and then from then on, it'll show you your Google Drive or your OneDrive, whichever link you clicked on. <clears throat> um, so this is, you're looking at it right here. Um, the, if a student clicks on Office 365 or Google Drive in their course navigation, they will see theirs, not yours. So um, now what we use that integration for, there's lots of ways we can use that integration. Uh, one of the ways you can use that is with collaborations. So I'm going to go ahead and click up here on collaborations. And so when we click on collaborations, it gives you a little thing that says collaborations are web-based tools. We can work collaboratively on taking notes or graded paper, grouped papers. And then it says get started by clicking on the plus collaboration button. So I'm going to do that and show you what this looks like. What I can do from here is start a collaborative document and choose who I want to share it with. Um, so Right now, since Office 365 is what's connected to your environment, that's what you're seeing. Um, so you can choose to start either a Word and Excel or a PowerPoint collaboration. So I could create a new PowerPoint collaboration and give it a name. And then I'm seeing all of you guys down here. So whoever I selected off of this list, um, Let's see, I'll pick a couple people and show you what that looks like. And then, and then when I click save, which I'm not going to do because I don't want you guys to get a copy of a PowerPoint, blank PowerPoint that's called Pandas Are Awesome, um, but that is what would happen as soon as I clicked save. You would now be invited to that collaborative document um, and you could get to it one of two ways. As soon as I click save, you'll probably get an invitation that says that you were invited to it. If you clicked on collaborations in, in this class, you would see it listed in there. It will also be in your OneDrive in a folder. That's the name of this course. So from here, I could do that with any one of those Office tools um, when Google is is also connected. You could do it with any of the three. You could do it with slides, sheets, or, um, or docs. So it's a really easy way to create collaborative spaces when you want students to work together. I've seen really interesting things done with collaborations. Uh, one of the tools that Canvas doesn't have is a journaling tool. Now, I don't know, does D2L have a journal? Oh, so I've seen this used for like a note space between instructors and students. So I've seen some instructors create a collaborative document with each one of their students. So it's like running notes or it's office hours meetings or, or things like that. Um, so collaborations, it's the same as creating a shared document. You just don't have to go in to the tool, either Office or, or Google, to create that shared document. Any questions about that? <clears throat> 